Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomuz Bairaji. Another mnemonic video, another trick video just before your examination. These videos are going to be gold mine. Remember that. Because under 7 or 8 minutes we are teaching you so much information to remember. How to remember that with the help of this very small and simple mnemonic that we have. And now we are going to talk about this DNA mutagens. There are different factors that cause mutations to the DNA. They are called the mutagens. And the mutagens primarily uh, can be classified uh, as a chemical mutagens. Let me write it here. Chemical mutagens. Uh, there are physical mutagens. And there are biological mutagens. Now biological mutagens means generally the virus. The viral infection may cause it. Bacterial infection may cause mutation. But that's a different array of things. When we talk about the mutagenesis as a question, uh, a part of the question paper, generally we talk about topics which are not that, you know, biological uh, mutagens, but the question they ask also is from uh, the chemical and physical mutagens. And that's what we are going to talk here about the chemical and physical mutagens. And to remember that we have two separate segments, one is for chemical mutagens, another one is for physical mutagens. And we start with this uh, very first uh, sentence that we need to understand for, for this uh, chemical mutagens. First of all, I'll write A, B, C, D. Okay, very simple. Everybody can remember this A, B, C, D without any issue. Then the next sentence is never try to frame time. Never try to frame time. This is one sentence. So A, B, C, D and then never try to frame time. This part is going to give us information regarding the chemical mutagens. Okay. Uh, what about the physical mutagens? For physical mutagens, we have another, we have another sense for physical mutagens. Let me write under vast skies, under vast skies, the painter drew, drew a gorgeous bridge under under vast skies the painter drew a gorgeous bridge that's all these are the two statements that you need to remember these are the two sentences that you need to remember in order to remember all the necessary information regarding the chemical mutagens and physical mutagens the first one is going to give you information regarding the chemical mutagens and the second one is going to give you information regarding physical mutagens. Okay. How? Let's see. A, B, C, D part of this very first sentence is going to give you four different chemical mutagens. The primary chemical mutagens that we have. A for alkylating. Alkylating agents. Okay. B. The second one B is for base analog. Okay. C here is actually C should be chelating agent or inter chelating agents and then there is D. D is at the end and uh, D is deamination. Another chemical modification. Such many other modifications are out there but I put only these four because these are the four major kind of chemical mutagenesis that is found in the DNA. So we have all this. We have A for alkylating agents, we have B for base analog, we have C for chelating or inter agents and D for deamination. Okay. And along with that, the modifications that they are going to do is written here. Never try to frame time. What we mean by that? Never try to frame time. Okay. Try T, T for transition. Okay. Transition. To another transition, then we have frame that is frame shift, and there is another one T transition. So, what we have here, we have transition, transition, frame shift, transition. In that order, we'll write it here transition, transition, frame shift transition so the alkylating agents they cause transition mutation base analog cause transition mutation in intercalating agents cause frame shift because they cause insertion 
and deletion. Both insertion and deletion is caused by intercalating agents. So that's why we write down as a frame shift mutation. And deamination also cause transition. Although these transitions are not the same kind of transition for all of the cases. For example, in one case, it, it is very simple. One, like the, the bases that are involved in the transition will be little different, but they cause transition. Alkylating agents transition, base analog transition, intercalating agents, frame shift, deamination transition. So by knowing ABCD, you know four important chemical mutagens and they are responsible uh, result to the DNA. We know that. Got it? Now let's move to the next one. Under vast skies, the painted geogorgeous bridge. Okay. So here, from here we are going to get under vast UV. So remember you get UV ray as one of the uh, physical agents okay under fast skies so uv okay under vast skies the painter p and d you have pd that is pyrimidine dimer so uv ray the very first physical agent to cause mutation uv ray UV ray cause pyrimidine dimer formation that is thymine thymine dimer formation okay and a gorgeous G for gamma gamma ray here okay uh, so here grows the bridge bridge here bridge for breakage DNA breakage so gamma ray cause DNA breakage and DNA damage due to DNA breakage. So we have these two things, right? We have UV ray causing pyrimidine dimer formation that is uh, PD that is pyrimidine dimer or thymine dimer formation that is UV ray causing pyrimidine dimer formation and the gorgeous bridge G4 gamma ray and bridge uh, that is breakage DNA breakage. So gamma ray cause DNA breakage, right? So that's how easy it is. UV ray causing pyrimidine dimer formation, gamma rays cause DNA breakage. Both of them that we got from this sentence under vast skies, the painter drew gorgeous bridge. So that is why if you can remember these two sentences, these are going to give you enough information to remember and process. For the chemical mutagens, ABCD never try to frame time. And for the physical mutations under vast skies, the painter drew gorgeous bridge. UV cause pyrimidine dimer. Gamma ray cause DNA breakage, double stranded or single stranded DNA break. Okay, so I believe you have a clear idea and you can now remember the important mutagens if there is any question in the exam. I believe you got a clear idea about all the topics that we discussed. And one more thing that is very important is that uh, these mnemonics are going to give you so much information in very little time. So, five to seven minutes of lecture will clear a lot of information in your brain you can put all this information in your brain before the exam and you can ace the exam and if you really like this video lectures then please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues there's a series of this mnemonics lecture a playlist is made for that and the link of the playlist is given in the description click that and watch all the videos of the playlist and if you wish to be mentored by me for your csi net examination or want to get our study material then the details are there here in the video you can contact us by this given number or directly can download our application or our check our website that is www.shomsbiology.com. Thank you. Bye.